Hello and welcome to Hills Ford. My name is Nick Day and over the course of the next 20 minutes or so, we are live and interactive with you via Facebook to introduce you to the once in a generation moment for the icon of the Ford brand, that is the Ford Mustang. Now, obviously with the COVID situation, we've taken all precautions with social distancing and working in our bubbles. For the first time in 55 years, Ford are expanding the Mustang lineup. They've taken what the original Mustang represents, freedom, progress and a touch of rebellion, and created this, the all-new Mustang Mach-E. An intelligent, all-electric SUV bursting with features, technology and most of all, as a Mustang, an exhilarating drive. As you can see, it's a great looking car. And we've had today joining us, Ashley, how are you doing? I'm great, thanks Nick, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. And thank you for looking after us here today. It's been a pleasure. It's been great, isn't it? We've got a wonderful car here. You've had a chance to drive it today. How did it go? Went fantastic, yeah, great. What was the bit that stood out for you on the drive? For me, it's got to be the handling. For the size of the vehicle, it really does stick to the road very well. It's a true Mustang then? It is. Fantastic. Now we've got uh, the doors opening soon as well for customers. You looking forward to working them back? Yeah, of course we are. Back open on Monday. Monday. So we can get customers in to drive some cars? We can, not yeah. We haven't got the first demonstrator until the end of May, early June. So once we've got it, we'll be straight in with the test drives. And this being the pinnacle of the electric Ford range, it's not the only uh, car for customers that can get into the Go electric spirit? No, it's not. So we've got the mild hybrid, we've got the full hybrid, we've got the plug-in hybrid, and then as you've said, we've got the pinnacle, which is the full electric Mackie. Fantastic. I'm sure customers have lots of questions. And on that note, if you've got questions, please put them into the comments. We are live and we can get through some of those questions. If we don't get them all today, I'm sure the team here can go back to them over the next few days and answer them. Yeah, of course. Plenty of training, so we're ready for any questions. Excellent. We've got a great team here. Now, as we said, the Mustang has something about being on the silver screen. It's a wonderful looking car and we see it as an icon in films all over the place. It looks wonderful out on the roads here at Kidderminster, but it also looks at home on the roads in Hollywood. So we've given it to a Hollywood A-lister to star alongside. Take a look at this. should have seen this coming, an icon. Built for freedom. The open road, power and rebellion. do something unexpected. Something that moves us all forward and holds nothing back. The all-electric Mustang Mark E. An SUV with the heart of a Mustang. about the Mustang on a film screen, it just looks right. You can imagine sitting behind the wheel, pretending to be Steve McQueen, looking down this long bonnet to that shark nose. As we come back, it's got this lovely coupe roof line. And because it's a car from the 21st century, we've still got the headroom hidden cleverly in this black band at the top. As we get to the rear, the iconic DNA of the Mustang with its tri-bar lights, these wide hips are the view lots of people are gonna get. So we come down the side of the car, there the detail here is actually no detail, there's no door handles, just this e-latch system here on the side. So we get to the front, we've got these slim LED headlights, there's no grille because it's an electric car, just the iconic pony badge and our active area dynamics at the bottom there. This is a car that looks like it's going 100 miles an hour, just sat here in the showroom. Well can it do that? So let's take a look. of gravity cannot be changed but can they be beat can torque be generated at such a force that the agreed-upon rules and theories of what's possible no longer apply 
Stand clear. That's a fast looking car as well, living up to the Mustang name. We've looked at the design, now the speed. Let's have a look underneath the skin and understand what the technology is. As you can see, we have a very, very stiff aluminium chassis with the battery sat right down on the floor. That gives the advantage of this low center of gravity to give us our handling. Now there are two batteries. There is a 68 kilowatt hour standard range battery and an 88 kilowatt hour extended range. Now I'll give you an example. The extended range will give us 379 miles on rear wheel drive and 335 miles on all wheel drive. Now that's obviously dependent on how you drive, the road situation, etc. I mentioned rear wheel drive and all wheel drive. If you've got a rear wheel drive one, you use a single motor on the rear axle between them driving the rear wheels, or all wheel drive, two motors, one on the rear axle, one on the front axle, and all of this is driven through a single automatic speed transmission. But there is other technology underneath. First of all, regeneration braking. So imagine you've got your foot on the throttle, energy comes out of the battery through the motor to drive the wheels. When you take your foot off the throttle, that motor now turns into a generator and puts energy back into the battery. It is very, very clever technology. So that is all about getting extra range while we're driving. Well, what about charging on the car? Now, what we have with all the cars, under the bonnet here, they come with our charging cables, a standard three-pin plug here, or the 32 amp adapter there. What I suggest, though, is talking to the team here at Hills and asking them about the wall box. If you look over my shoulder there, we have one of the wall boxes. Now, my example for this is just like your tablet or your mobile phone. At night, when you finish, the last thing you do, if you plug your phone in or your tablet in, when you wake up in the morning, you have a full battery ready for the day. Same with the car and the wall box. You plug this in, and in the morning when you wake up, you've got a full tank of energy ready to go. Now, that's charging at home. It takes around about 10 hours from zero to 100%, but how often are you at zero? Now, what about out on the road, out in the big wide world? There are places to find charging. Well, you can find them on the Ford Pass app or the next generation sync inside, and I will show you that in a little while. You have access to over 155,000 charging stations all across Europe. You can pay for that charging via the Ford Pass app. But we've recently announced as well that BP Pulse have now joined this network. That gives us access to 9,500 charging points. And I'll give you the up down here, right where we stand here, within a couple of miles of us, there are six stroke seven different charging points very, very close. The other thing to talk about for charging is Ionity. Ionity is a network that Ford have been investing in along with some other consortium motor manufacturers. These are super fast chargers all throughout Europe. And to give you an example, if you're on it on the road or on a drive and you stop to maybe go to the toilet, grab a coffee, if you plug our car into one of these, within 10 minutes, you've added 73 uh, miles to your range. Very, very fast charging. So that's some charging examples. What about buying? So let's have a look at some of the options. We've kept it very, very simple. Uh, we have four options to look at. We've already mentioned our extended range and standard range batteries, and we've already talked about rear wheel drive and all wheel drive, just four options. But what about design on the outside? What are the options out there? Have a look at this. We have both the cars looking stunning, but there are a couple of subtle differences. On our rear wheel drive, 18 inch alloys, but when you go to the all wheel drive, you're stepping up to 19 inch alloys with these lovely red calipers. And you can see around the, uh, around the wheels, this lovely pillar black as well. Now there's just some of the options on the outside. What about some of the features on the inside? Now we've been working with a car today, which is our extended all-wheel drive one. And these are some of the signed out features ourselves. First of all, this full panoramic glass roof. It is a stunning feature. Let's loads of light in. It's obviously UV protected as well. We have eight-way power memory front seats, power foldable door mirrors, and this wonderful Bang & Olsen 10-speaker sound system, hands-free tailgate, and advanced active park assist with 360-degree 
uh, cameras. Now, so that's our options on the inside as well. Well, we're talking about the inside. Let's go and have a look. All right. So in here, the first thing that strikes us is our seats. And you can see this contrasting red stitching. This is hand stitched through our vegan Senesco leather. And this stitching goes through the doors and onto our dashboard. You can see it running along there. Above that is our carbon fiber. And then this huge sandbar from Bang & Olsen. As we get above us, we've got this big gloss uh, panoramic roof. And in front of me, because this is a modern car, latest technology, we get this 10.2 inch uh, screen right in front of us, but I've saved the best to last and that is this 15.5 inch next-gen screen here. It looks amazing, but also it moves really quickly and how it acts. Now a couple of things this can do I wanted to show you. One of the things you can do with this is set profiles up depending on who drives the car. We've all got our preferences, but that's great. You can see I've set mine up here. But this car has got artificial intelligence and it's starting to learn my process and what I like. Because I've been showing this car off today, it's already starting to give me some suggestions. You see, it says afternoon suggestions, because one of the things I do here is I'm gonna show you the charging stops that I've been doing this today. As I said earlier, there are a number of charging points locally to us. And now this is going off board to find this information out. As you can see, there are numbers of them. There's five, six, seven of them within a few miles. So that is the, 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 the charging element around for us. We can search for these and it uses information through its modem to brown, bring this in. Now, one thing I wanted to show you as well was the navigation. Now we planned a route to Manchester early, earlier and I wanted to show you. So let's have a look at a navigation bit. So when we put this in, uh, not only does it uh, use the navigation like normal and it starts to plan the route, because this is an intelligent system, it uses the modem to go and bring information from outside as well. For example, traffic situations. So you always get the up-to-date information on the route. But not only that, it looks at your battery as well. With the battery, it understands where you need to charge and where you uh, then what range you'll have at the end. It's very, very clever. And obviously this is a Mustang. This is a car you'll want to drive and enjoy along the way. And the drive part of this is very important too. This has to live up to the Mustang name. And that's the next thing we're gonna look at. Now here with Here we are. We said earlier the driver is really important. And I also said earlier that we have profile set up depending on the settings and who drives the car. What we can also do in this car though is set up how the car's personality comes about. What we have here is active mode, and this is probably going to be your default mode uh, you'd use the most. It's a real balance between performance and economy, uh, comfort, etc. Now, let's imagine you've had a tough day at the office, we've had a feeling a bit stressed, we're feeling a bit run down, we need the car to help us. We've got whisper mode. Now, one of the best things about driving a fully electric car is the luxury sound of silence. And this is something to experience on a test drive. What happens, the car drops all the noise out, the pedal goes slightly softer and longer. It's a very relaxing place to go. The sound of silence is really good in an electric car. But I said earlier, this is a Mustang. We need to wake it up and we need to bring that emotion to the front. We have untamed mode. And this brings those emotional sounds, the throttle gets sharp and it drives like a true Mustang. Now, one of the final things I wanted to show you down here is this something called the one pedal drive. Now this is something unique to an uh, electric car. We mentioned earlier the regenerative braking. So when we put our foot on the throttle, we use energy. When we take our foot off, that energy then goes back into the battery. With one pedal driving, it really shows the car down. You won't need the brake, but the brake pedal is still there. It's just something to be tried. It sounds tough, it sounds different. It sounds something like we're not used to, but it is a very simple way to drive. And it really is a great thing to test on the test drive. So when the doors open, get down here and have a go. So we've talked about design, we've talked about performance, we've talked and seen the inside now. One thing we have to do now is understand the true SUV elements of this car, the practical side. So I think it's time to go and have a look at the boot at the back. So come and join me outside. Right. 
Now round at the back of the boot here, this is a very practical car. In the back here, we can see there's 402 litres back here. And it's not just the size of it, but it's actually the layout and the space available. There's no intrusions in to make it uh, difficult to load. We can also put the seats down, and that gives us another 1,000 litres. So plenty of room to put, I don't know, trips to the dump, a bike in here, go camping. It is a truly practical car. But this is an electric car, and it's not just storage back here. We did have a sneak peek earlier. Can we show you, can we have a look around the front? Let me show you the front trunk. Now, at the front here, because there's no engine, we have some storage space. And say, we saw it earlier with our charging cable. Now, down here, we have got uh, an over 80 litres in here. And imagine if we've had our charging cable in here and uh, it's been raining, it may be wet, we wouldn't want to put that in our nice clean car. So in here, this is all lined uh, and it's waterproof. There is even a drain hole down there. So let's imagine we've also been out for a walk. We've got muddy boots, we could put them in here or play golf, we could put our golf shoes in there. We've got the dividers in here at the moment to make it easy, but these can come out. So it's a very practical area as well. So this is a true SUV. Now I'm happy to say I'm also now joined by Dan. How are you doing, Dan? Very well, thanks, Nick. Very Great. Good. Have you had a chance to drive the car today? I have, yeah. I drove it yesterday. I had another drive today. Really impressive. Really, really blew me away, to be honest. And what's the bit that stood out to you? What's your one highlight? Um, I'd say probably the acceleration, really, and the propulsion sound as well during acceleration, really Did you impressive. go in the untamed mode then? I did, I went straight to untamed mode, <laughs> to be fair. No, it's impressive, and the sound's fantastic. So yeah, even electric cars. Really and good. that's great, isn't it? It lives up to that Mustang yeah, name. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Now, as we said earlier, this is the pinnacle of the, uh, the, the Ford range from electric side of it, but I'm sure customers are going to have lots of questions. How confident are you feeling on answering all of those? Yeah, we've done all the training. Obviously, there's a lot to learn about these cars. It's all, it's all changed for all of us, really. Really, but no, I'm confident we've, you know, we've got a great team here. We're all doing lots of research, lots of training. Brilliant. And not just on this model, but on all the models that we sell. Um, so I'm confident we can answer your questions. And are you sure, what are the customers going to be wanting to see when you go for a test drive? When you get your demonstrators in, what's the one thing you're going to show them when they go for a drive? Um, I think probably the most common question we get is about charging and how to charge it and about safety with the cables. Just to give them some bit of peace of mind, really. Just to show them how easy it is. I guess really they're talking about range because obviously there's a lot of talk about range anxiety. Mm. Obviously this car's got a fantastic range. Oh yeah, huge. Yeah, so yeah, so we just sort of we're writing down almost like a common questions really, and mm -hmm. um, just so we're ready and prepared. And when do you get your demonstrators to get those test drives going? Well, I checked today, and fortunately our demonstrator is one of the first to arrive in the UK, and we should see it by hopefully around about the third week in May. And it's actually exactly the same as this car, so a uh, carbonised grey or extended range all-wheel drive. So it's exactly the same car as what we see here today. Brilliant. And can you give our, our viewers, people who are online today, an idea of how much a car like this would cost? how much you would do to get into a, a, a stunning car like this yeah definitely so we'll pop a, an example on the screen but just what we've done we've done some research we've looked at what a customer that buys sort of this sort of vehicle is typically putting in deposit and payments and for this sort of car or sorry from you'd be looking around about nine thousand eight hundred pound deposit and if you did that on a 48 month PCP that'd be around about 399 a month so that's a typical deposit or part exchange valuation for a car of this type and that just gives people an idea what to expect what the payments could be from that's fantastic. So we've got some ideas. Uh, test drives going to be very important for this. Yeah, and those definitely. questions. Now, we mentioned these questions earlier. Now, yes, I'm ready, I think. We've yeah. had some questions in yeah. from you guys out there, uh, and we're going to put uh, Dan here okay. under, the, under the pressure here. So let's go for a couple of questions. I've got a couple on here. Let me open them up here. Uh, first one, say, if we don't get to yours right now, don't worry. I'm sure Dan and the team will come back in the next couple of yeah, days. Yeah, absolutely. I'll try and answer them. Obviously, I'm trying to learn as much as I can, but I'll try and answer them. If not, we'll definitely get back to you. Uh, and keep sending those questions in. The team here are open to syllabus. Yep. Available, phones, Indeed, yeah, emails, etc. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Ask yeah, we're all away. Here. We're all working, and that's yeah. really good. They've had, they say, they've had the training, they're feeling yeah. confident. So let's start with the first question. I've got Peter from Cookley, so only down the road. Yes, yeah, not too far. Uh, Peter has said, um, we talk about the charging. Ionity network, is that the only network that he can use while charging when he's out and about? Uh, no, okay, not at all, Peter. Basically, there's up to just under 15,000 charging stations uh, in the UK, and that's giving you up to about just under 40,000 connections as well. Wow. Uh, the beauty of the Ionity station, obviously, it's, it's a 350 kilowatt charging station, so it's going to give you one of the fastest charges. So, to give you an example, you can go from 10% charge to 80% charge in 38 minutes on a 68 kilowatt vehicle, 
or the same amount on mm. these 88 kilowatts takes about 45 minutes. So very fast charging, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's about 57 miles per, per every 10 minutes. So yes, it's and very effective. And we can find that information that we said yeah, on our Ford app. on the vehicle. Uh, you can uh, points of interest on the sat nav, on the Ford Pass Connect app, which is fantastic. You can plot your route, so you can work out exactly where you need to be to charge. And I say with the range anyway. I think typical journeys you'll be absolutely fine. Oh no problem at all. See, he's doing a good job. He's answering the questions. I've got one more. We think we've got time for today. Okay. okay. Uh, this is Sue. Sue, thank you for your question. Sue's from Summerfield, again, and close, yeah, I think. Yeah, very uh, She close. wanted to know about, we were talking about this test drive earlier. Yeah. She wanted to know about the one pedal driving. Now, I okay, know you've had a go okay. at this. Yes, yes, I did. She yeah, asked, yeah. does the brake pedal still work? Okay, well, I, I must admit, I did wonder that myself, but it does. So the brake pedal functions exactly the same. It's an automatic vehicle, so you've got an accelerator and a brake pedal. The way the one pedal works is you use your accelerator pedal to increase your speed as you normally would, but then as soon as you come off that accelerator pedal, the car will decelerate using the regenerative braking. It will slow down quite quickly as yep. well, um, and it will actually slow down to a stop, but the brake pedal is still there, still fully functioning if you need to stop quicker or if you need to do an emergency stop. It's a great thing. You, we can turn it on and off as well. Yeah, You've so tried it's it. a mode. You can select it. As I say, I tried it today. I tried it in active. I tried it in whisper, and I tried it in uh, untamed mode, and it works fantastic. I reckon, you know, a couple of minutes trying it, and it works beautifully. It's yeah. that easy, isn't it? Yeah, that couple definitely. Of minutes. 100%. He's doing very well. So, again, keep sending your questions in. The guys and the team here will come back over the next few days with those questions. Any questions, either call or come down and have a look when the cars are here as well. And can I just say thank you again for your hospitality You're looking after welcome. us. It's been good fun. It yeah, has been really good and no, great. Well it. done for answering those questions. No, well, <laughs> cheers, thank you. And again, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And from us here tonight, thank you very much. Thank you.